Hey y'all, good morning, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to try this mascara from Too Faced. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I hope that you will consider subscribing. My channel consists of fashion and beauty, artistic and non-artistic Bible studies, clothing hauls, as well as beauty, tips and tutorials, and just some plain old-fashioned fun. Thank you for watching, and I hope you consider subscribing. Okay, so I've already put on all my makeup except for my mascara, and I wanted to try this mascara from Too Faced only because I've been using the Tardius Mascara and the Roller Lash from Benefit. And every time I wear these, for some reason, I always end up with little marks down here. And I don't know if it's because, like, my eyes have been so watery because I've had allergies or whatever. But I am going quickly through my stash of mascara. At one point, I had a ton of mascara. And I have two other new tubes besides that one that I had gotten at Christmas time and this one's the Tarte as well and it's just in a little blingy but I just use that as decor <laughs> so I haven't really used it but I picked this up this was I believe $24 $24 or $25 I can't really remember but I have long lashes wow that's a big mascara <laughs> of course yeah see it's and I don't know if it's just the packaging so here's it's almost, well, it's almost the size of the Tardius. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and try it. My lashes are already long, so I don't really have a need for a product that makes my lashes longer. Nonetheless, I wanted to try this one for the smudging. I hope it doesn't smudge. It says that it has a lifting and lengthening and locking in 24 hours of smudge and flake resistant curl so i didn't curl my lashes this morning i figured i would go ahead and see if this works but it's a very big wand and so i'm gonna go ahead and up start applying it to my lashes like i said i haven't it does look a little chunky on the end right now I like the way it separates even though it's a big brush it seems like it separates so there's that eye compared to this eye and I do feel like it made my lashes go up somewhat I haven't put the brush back in the packaging I've just used the same first application so yeah it looks good I'm gonna go ahead and go in for a second application I just stick it in there and swirl it around and pull it back up I don't pump it and I don't do any of that and so here we go for round two Okay. I really don't feel like round two made it more curly or added anything more. You guys let me know what you think. But let me go ahead and do the other eye off camera. Okay. And there's the other eye, the top lash. And so what I meant when I tell you guys I just swirl it around, I just do like that. I just move it within the tube. Now I'm really concerned about doing my lower lash with such a big brush because this is a big brush to me. 
I'm going to just swoop it under there a little bit with the very tip and not do like that, but just kind of apply the mascara this way. And so I guess all my concerns just washed away because it seems fine when I use it that way and don't try to go in like this, but just straight down. But it does, I did get some under my eye because it's just too big for under my eye. So as you can see, I got a little bit there and here and so that would be my only concern is that this wand is way too big for underneath my eye. And that is the reason that I really like this Real Lash from Benefit because it has a more slender where I can get in there like this. And I believe that this other Tardius also, yeah, it's the same thing. It's a smaller and so it's easier to get it under there. Now, as I mentioned before, these do smudge. So I'm excited that this one claims that it will not smudge. But I will wear it throughout the day and see if that actually is true. <laughs> and then I'll touch base with you all. Um, usually if you get mascara under your eye just let it dry and then take a spoolie that you don't use for your eyebrows because of course when you comb through your eyebrows you're going to have product on it but what you do is you get a spoolie let me grab one really quick so I'm going to just use this one because I know I don't use this spoolie and just to make sure I'm going to go ahead and clean it off just to make sure I haven't used it because I can't really remember if I did or not. Maybe I did. Okay, so what you would usually do is once it's dry, you just flake, just work at it like that and it's gone. And under here where it kind of smudged, you know, there's not, when it's not just a little chunk, it's kind of hard to just take it off. But nonetheless, I think it's fine. My eyelashes cover it. So I'm about to leave for work and then I'll come back and check in with you all to make sure that that situation didn't happen. And if I have time, I'm going to wear that mascara and kind of show you all what I'm talking about, how it smudges here. But if I don't have time, just know that I have like little, almost like where it smudged on my lash. And then when I, when I blinked, it kind of ended up here. I will check in with you all in eight and a half hours. Okay, so it's after six o'clock. It's 613 to be exact. And I just got home from work. And so, if you can see right here a little bit, I get like this little darkness. And I, I don't know if it's from my... I usually don't get it unless I have mascara on, so it has to be the mascara. But I, I don't know because if this is smudge proof, it shouldn't have come off like that but it's been a good 12 hours since I put it on it seems like it's done good so other than having that little spot right there which I only have it under this eye it might just be when I got it under here a little bit this morning that might be what it is but it says it's a 24 hour mascara and I do feel like my lashes are longer and I didn't have to curl them so just a little bit more details on the brush it says it's an infinity brush and it has whipped melting waxes 
melt into each other to create one weightless super layer. It has lash suspension, lift and lock and curl. So I think that it does provide a lot of volume. It definitely provides more volume than the other two that I've been using, which is these two. I always feel like I have to add more uh, coats of mascara. So I really like it. I don't know that, uh, I think you can buy a cheaper mascara. I tried one that was from CoverGirl and it had like a red top and it really reminds me of this mascara, but it's a whole lot cheaper. And so if I can find it, I'll put a picture of it right here. And I really like that one. It performed the same and it wasn't as expensive. So if you want to try it, I feel like you, it's a good mascara. But if you also want to try something cheaper, I really think that CoverGirl mascara performs just exactly as this one and for a cheaper price. So anyway, that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.